Farsiga, a medication that we're going to discuss that has big implications and big benefits in kidney disease. Now, thanks for watching our channel today at HealthyKidneyInc.com. And we always talk about natural diet, um, lifestyle things that you can do to improve your kidney health. But today we're going to talk about a medication. So uh, this is considered the biggest breakthrough in nephrology in the field of kidney disease for the last 20 years. And this is a breakthrough for the conventional uh, medical community because there weren't really any good options um, outside of the standard drugs and a few other things that have come out uh, to help people that doctors can use in the last 20 years. And if you look into the history why, uh, it's kind of sad. Uh, because it was all about making money, who's going to make them, you know, who's going to make the most money, what publicly traded companies are going to make the most money. So there was never any incentive to invest in research and development and coming out with better uh, drugs for people that have kidney issues. But now we have something big and the nephrology community has been waiting for this forever. Um, and so I'm going to talk about this medication. It's called Farsiga. It got approved two days ago to uh, slow down kidney disease, to slow down the loss of kidney disease progression. It's shown in studies to do that very well. It's also shown to reduce um, any death associated with renal disease and also cardiovascular outcomes uh, that have to do with kidney disease also. So, so this medication is shown to be very helpful. It's something completely new. And this medication is an SGL2 uh, classification. That's a sodium glucose code transporter 2. And it was originally approved for diabetes, and now we have it for uh, kidney disease, for general kidney disease. Now, this medication can be used with anybody with a loss of kidney function. You have to obviously talk to your doctor, your nephrologist, make sure that it's going to be the right thing for you. And you would take this medication as prescribed. And what it's shown to do with kidney disease, it helps allow uh, essential processes of the kidney to work better. All right. And so that's how it benefits. Um, the reason why I'm recommending this medication too, because it's not a new medication. It's an old one. It's been out since 2014, uh, 2014. It's been out. Uh, it was reapproved for other classes in 2019, and now it's approved for kidney disease. So I don't like new drugs because uh, with any new drugs, there tends to be a, we find out more when they hit the market and more side effects, black box warnings. But this drug has a long history behind it. So we know a lot about it. Uh, so that's a concern that you don't have to really worry about because we, we know a lot because it's been out there a long time and studied a long time. And so uh, that's something that you can use with without medications. Uh, it's better with uh, some of the blood pressure meds, as the research shows. It can be used in a lot of kidney diseases except uh, cystic kidney diseases like PKD, polycystic kidney disease or other cystic diseases and recommended not using if you just did some any type of immunosuppressive therapy for any kidney diseases. However, speak to your doctor about it. Uh, we, you know, we actually have something that's beneficial. Um, talk to your doctor, decide if it's right for you if you want to do, but I want to get that information out there to everybody. Just got approved two days ago. So on your next doctor's visit, you know, bring it up, discuss it. It could benefit you. And using any one approach is not the best outcome. Meaning if you use just medications, you're not going to get a great outcome. We know what the statistics are on those. If you use just uh, what's considered holistic, like diet, lifestyle, supplements, you know, we know you're not going to get a good outcome there. Uh, it's still good options, either or, but both together is what you really want to do because that's going to give you the best options going forward. So don't do just one. I don't recommend that. Use conventional medication. Uh, with lifestyle, diet, all the things we talk about, and then I'll give you a by far the best outcomes possible when it comes to your kidney health. Thanks for watching everybody from one uh, kidney, uh, kidney disease uh, person to another to your best kidney health. Bye.